Hello, and welcome back to the finale of Let's Play Super Castlevania 4 Blind. I hope you're excited, because it, it's the end of the game, and it usually just gets harder and harder, like it has been in the last couple of levels. Not sure how far Dracula is, but might take a while to get to him, so this might actually be the length of one of the normal episodes, or who knows, I might be able to speed through this. I guess we'll find out in a bit. Oh, fuck, I already died. Well, we're off to a good start. Forget what I said about uh, being able to finish this in a bit, because at this rate, if I'm going to die in the first 30 seconds of the video, well, then that's not good. Especially when I can't go down the stairs properly. Even these doula hands are actually placed pretty well. Okay. Give me the whip. I gotta do the whippy thing. Don't care. Ah. This is off to a great start. But it's time we finish this, though, because, like I've said, it this just took too long for me to do. And it's long overdue to be finished, so we have to finish this. Alright, is this Dracula? No, this is a crumbling bridge. Crap. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Fuck, 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 fuck. How long is this bridge? Is this the end? No. Keep going, keep going, keep going, no time to stop. How about now? Oh, it is. Ow! That was mean. This is actually a pretty hard level, and it's only the beginning. Alright, next area. Whoa! What is that? Is that a saw? Oh, shit! I got too excited to find out what that was to... Alright, well, I'm going to start moving fast because I don't want that to happen again. Even this! Holy... That's pretty cool that the stairs... are actually falling. Just every stage is making a new gimmick like that. That's... That's actually pretty cool. Alright, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. No time to waste, no time to waste. This is actually a pretty tense level for Castlevania standards. I don't care about you. Give me that. Okay, stop following me. What's going on over here? Whoa! This is weird. I like this effect. So I'm guessing this final stretch up is just gonna be climbing the tower, which I'm fine with. Doesn't seem that difficult. Oh, I guess no, these skeletons actually can jump. I thought it was only the gold ones, but... Alright. Doesn't make it any more dangerous. A skeleton's a skeleton. And in this game, being a skeleton means they're very annoying, so... Yeah. And they actually give you a lot of time, too, so... Being the last level, that's actually pretty nice of them to do. I just hope they're as lenient with the checkpoints as I hope they are, because this is B2 still. Just one long climb up. I guess we're supposed to go this way because we can't go that way, so... Do we go in here now? Is this Dracula? Have we made it? Yeah, this is it! Wow. This is a pretty small arena to fight Dracula. Wait, that's not Dracula! That's... Oh, that's... 
That's that one boss from Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Oh, uh, what's, what's his name? Uh, Slagra. That's it. He's like a weird green pterodactyl. I don't remember him being this hard and difficult, but that's kind of cool. I guess this is the game that he came from. I had full health and died. Wow. Okay, well, I'm going to meet you back at him and hopefully not die again. Actually, never mind! They're actually really nice, and if you die and get a game over there, you get to just continue right here, so... Yay. I didn't have to cut. This doesn't make this boss any easier, though. This seems to be the best strategy is to just run, duck and cover, and whip. So I guess judging by the fact that you're here means that your friend Gaiben is also going to be here, unless you're Gaiben, but pretty much for anyone who hasn't played Symphony of the Night and any other game after that where they appear, Gyber and Slagra are two bosses that appear together and kill you. But they appear together in pretty much every game that they're in as a duo and are actually pretty difficult. Not so much the very first game, but they start off as a two-on-one boss against Alucard in that game. And then later in the game they show up as regular enemies which are really easy to defeat. And that's pretty much how it is with all the other games, but that's kind of cool. I, I got to see where their origins were. Although you're not that hard, I could just duck, actually, and most of your attacks seem to miss unless you land on me like that. Probably the hardest part about this is there's no room to fight. Oh, and that beak. Get away from me. Ah. I mean, this is the finale, though, so I get... I, if I really need to cut, I will, to just when I win, but it shouldn't be that hard. If this is being this hard, like, I, I know, I'm saying it's not really that hard, it's not, but he's doing a lot of damage. Yeah, if you get yourself trapped in a corner, because like, there's no room, that's what makes it hard. It's definitely doable, though, but if this is going to be this hard, then I can't imagine how hard uh, Gaiben is, or Dracula. I guess, uh... 3 vs 1, or not, not 3 vs 1, but I'm going to have to fight 3 of them. Uh, the, all 3 of them, not 3 of them in a row. If it's in a row and there's no checkpoints, I'm going to be pretty pissed. Because that's just unfair. They knew people were going to die, though, at this part, so it's good that they put those checkpoints in. Nope. Two. One. Ah. How about this time? I mean, I found your strategy pretty fast. Just duck. And make sure he doesn't land on you, which I'm not even doing. Is 
Fight fair. And that means without your beak. Thank you. Okay, so am I fighting Slogger right now, or are they going to give me uh, completely, completely full health? Because I sure hope they do. And they did. So that's good. Alright, Gaiben. Are you any harder? No, you're pretty much like the original form. Yeah, pretty much when he's about to die, or no, when he's on half health, he goes into uh, rage mode, and he becomes red. Okay. Oh, it does continue here. That's good. But do I get fancy whip? Uh, only half whip. It's better than nothing, I'm not gonna argue. Come on. This is much easier, though, than Slagra. You can just keep hitting him, so... I guess in a sense he's doing more damage, but... I have a lot more room to maneuver, so... There's that. Not much else going for me other than that. And that he's easier to hit, I guess. He doesn't have to jump in the air. Because that's weird, like... In the other game, Slagra will never actually jump in the air like that. It's only this game. Especially, like, this with Gaiben. He doesn't... Have the spikes come down from the ceiling, so I guess it's appropriate that they make him, they make them super powerful for this game. And then if they're gonna do uh, release, they're gonna re-release it for the other games, then do weaker versions. Come on. Of course, though, it, it's it's me dying on people that I've already actually sort of fought because they're actually in the other games, like I said, so... Figures I die on this, and not, like, actually Dracula, who's supposed to be final boss. I keep dying on one health left. Ugh. Jump. No, no, ah, I'm gonna have to do this without the, oh, wait, never mind. I don't know why it wasn't letting me jump there, but that's pretty weird. Probably because it said I was on the, like, the inch, inch, like, the beginning of the stairs, but I wasn't. Come on. He's actually kind of easier once he gets angry. He does more damage, yeah, but it's not too bad what he does. Okay, there we go. Now I have that. Of course, you don't want to drop a whip for me when I need it. Come on. Come down. And they're really making use of the whole you could whip in every direction thing because I'm definitely trying to whip angled to hit him. Especially there, if I want to avoid damage, that seems to be the easiest way to hit him. That or get up there, but that seems a lot more dangerous. Oh, 
All right, I think I got you this time. There we go. All right. Now I got rid of the uh, two goons. It's time to take on Dracula then. All right, double whip. This is where we're gonna fight Dracula. Oh, it's Death Summers. Wait, <laughs> Death so Death Summer. I guess Death actually is in this game. Right? Death Summers. Yes, Death Death Summers. Death Summers is in this game. Death Summers. Why did I say Death Summers? You're not death, Summer is your death. This is actually pretty easy for what I expect of death. But that's kind of cool. He's not in the clock tower, but, well, he is second to last boss, which I guess is just as fitting, but. Okay. Oh, and it does give me full whip. Okay. That's not bad. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. You have the longest startup time of any boss in this game. I just want you to know that. And you do a lot of damage too, but you take just as much. Of course, you've never actually really been one to be that hard. Continue. And I get to continue back here again. Hooray. I really wish they could give me a sub weapon or something. That would be nice. I can't imagine trying to fight Dracula without a sub weapon. Come on. Come on. Ow. Ugh. I'm determined to finish this though. I, this will be finished. Come on. Do your startup. Do your like 10 second startup. Let me actually count that. Yeah, it's like 5 second startup. Because vacuum attacks in any game aren't really too bad from bosses. Yeah, do this again. Alright, you're dead. No, wait, no, you're not. Okay, now you're dead. Goodbye, Death Summers. You will be missed. And luckily, none of those actually hurt you. Okay, now, can we fight Dracula, or is there going to be some other stupid boss? Oh, this is kind of cool. It's all these little effects in this game. They just they just all work so well. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, that does kill you. Okay. I figured they would have hid something. But I guess not. Okay, what about... What if I had... No? Okay, well, I just... I'm really stupid and wasted two lives. I was thinking, though, uh... In some of the other Castlevania games, they usually tend to hide uh, some stuff, especially like in Rondo of Blood and Symphony of the Night. They have that one button you can press that's like right there, and a giant staircase comes down, but I guess it's not in this game. It'd be nice if it was. And we're all equipped. Okay, this is it. This is the final battle. Dracula Summers? Oh, that's kind of cool.
That was so intense. Luckily, they're giving me full cross and... I mean, uh, full whip and full cross. Oh, and cross. Yeah. Dracula, you don't seem too hard, but knowing the other games, you are probably going to have some ridiculous second form that's going to give me a lot of trouble. He tends to have some pretty ridiculous forms, though, like, in the third game, I mean, uh, Symphony of the Night, I don't know why I said third game, but... He has this weird form where, for some reason, uh, they thought that it would be a cool idea to make Dracula a chair. I don't know why they did that, it was really weird. I wonder. Hmm. No, I guess you can't. I was gonna say, what if I like flail my whip like that, but nope. It seems like your best bet is to use the cross, but you only have six hearts, so I don't see how they expect you to do that. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna cut down though on the boss fights. Cut out some of the failed attempts. Made it this far, so I'm never gonna give up. This seems to be a good strategy. Oh! Oh, this is bad. Come on. Yeah. That's pretty close. You really have to hit those or else. The worst part about Dracula, though, in any game is that you really don't know where he's going to teleport, and I hope he doesn't have that one attack from uh, the first game, I think it is. He has this really weird and really uh, out-of-place attack in the game where, for some reason, the people making the game thought it would be a good idea to have him back up at you. not really too sure why they did that, but whatever. He just backs up into you and it's really hard to tell when he's going to do it and when he's not going to do it. And when he does that, it usually is what kills you because you're not expecting it. I think he's just going to throw a fireball, but then nope. Chuck Testa. It's a shame I didn't actually get to use the holy water that much in this game. I'm not going to be able to find it again. And even then, even if I did have it, it would be a terrible weapon for the final boss. Since you can only hit his head if it wasn't obvious enough, I didn't actually mention that though. Yeah, this attempt's gonna go bad. Gonna go worse than spoiled milk. Not sure why spoiled milk, but spoiled milk. Oh, free chicken! Cool.
Yeah, these fires seem to be the death of me right now. What's going on? Oh, I like this. This is getting me pumped up. I don't have much health, though. I don't know what's... Oh, I'm going to die here. I didn't get my fill of chicken. That's not fair. That's really cool, though. I actually like that. That's a great way to end that fight. And I guess he does have a second form, although he doesn't have two health bars like I thought he did, but... Oh, well. You know what? Hold on. I'm just gonna... Take a quick break real second. Okay, sorry about that. I had to... Talk to someone real quick, because they were interrupting me. Really calling me on my cell phone. Well, I feel like I needed a quick break, though, to refresh. Alright, are you gonna throw your chicken orbs? Yeah, throw your chicken orbs. I'm gonna try and get full health if I can. Alright. Throw me one more. Good enough. Go away. Free chicken! Alright. Let's do this. This isn't too bad, you just have to know where to land. I think you have to hit him like four times. Come on. Come on, this this could be it. This is it! We got him! Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! Obligatory whip flail for victory. Get out of here. That was a difficult boss. Oh, we even get different boss music. So that's it. We stormed Castle Dracula.
and took on its master. The castle is no more. Thanks to the help of the local sadist, Simon Belmont. This was a fun game. I'll admit it's not really the most interesting blind game, but... I had fun with it. There's a lot of stuff I really didn't see coming, but... Every stage seemed to offer a lot of interesting gimmicks, and I actually like that. It's pretty innovative for its time, like... The first stage, you had... You could switch back and forth from the background and the foreground, that's pretty cool. And then you had those weird platforms that you could switch. And... There was that weird, like, barrel room, that was pretty interesting. Or, like, even, like, the stairs were falling down and the saws were coming up. That was pretty cool in the, in the final level. They, they just kept adding new stuff, and... More games don't really do that that often, where you'll see, like, every stage they'll try and add a new gimmick. They'll just be like, oh, uh... Here, you see this gimmick? You're gonna stick with it for, like, the next five levels. But this project, it definitely took way too long. And really what it comes down to was excuses for me, like, I'll admit it, like, sure, there was, there was actual, like, stuff, like me getting sick, or just me not even being in the mood to record, or like, like when I said, like, uh, my dog died, but it all comes down to me, like, I shouldn't make excuses if I want to make videos, I might as well be honest at least. Yeah, this is the barrel level I was talking about. So, for the next LP that I will be doing, though, I will be doing a Pokemon hack, like I had said I would before this game, but I actually will be doing one, and it's a friend of mine's hack, so that should be interesting for anyone wondering. The Ankun Hara. Not exactly sure how well that'll go, but I'm hoping that I at least upload more often because if this has taught me anything, it's that I really procrastinate way too much. Pechi. It's always fun to make fun of the Japanese people's names in the credits. Or anyway, any credits really, it doesn't have to be Japanese. And this guy was pretty cool. It's kind of obvious though that they're gonna have like a something that's living like a painting or something attacking. Which, speaking of paintings, in Portrait of Ruin they have uh, a bunch of paintings attack you as a boss, kind of like Brono, he's jumping in and out of paintings. I hated that part because I jumped into that spike over there. Object designer, Nyan Kun Hara. Didn't you already do something? In the stage with the golden honey. Just everything about it, it was the right difficulty for a Castlevania game, and while I do prefer the exploration games a bit more, like, pretty much like what Symphony of the Night did, kind of like a Metroid, a little bit, you know, like the Metroidvanias, but overall, I, I think it, this might be in, up there for the, one of the best Castlevania games I've ever played. I'd say my favorite is probably Portrait of Ruin, though. Because I love the whip users, and all the exploration games really don't seem to use you being a whip user and exploring, except for like cheats where it'll be like, oh, you beat the game, then uh, congratulations, you get to play as Richter if you put your name in as Richter in Symphony of the Night, or with Aria of Sorrow, you get to do the same, but put Julius, I'm pretty sure, and you get Julius mode. It's it's this it, it was actually really good because even then you didn't even need to play as the whip user you could have been uh, could have been Charlotte and she uses a bunch of spells so that's like a completely new character right there too and even Jonathan he had a bunch of unique sub weapons that most of the other Belmonts couldn't get because technically he's not a Belmont he's a Morgan oh no not Morgan a uh, uh, Morris. if you do a uh, if you do want any LPs that you might want me to do, you could leave it in the comments, though. I'm always up for ideas. Who knows? 
presented by Konami. Is that it? They're not gonna show Dracula or anything again? I mean, they showed all the other bosses, you would expect them to. I guess not. And it's starting me over. Okay. Well, why not hear that theme one more time for a little bit? For old time's sake. As a farewell. Well, it's been fun, so I'll see you next time in some Pokemon hack.